Hello, friends. Welcome to my place. My name is Dave. Good to have you here. Every man jack cologne, sea salt. Now, have you ever done anything so silly that is actually pretty dumb? I just did a review a few minutes ago. I was watching it. First impression, unboxing. And as always, I try not to look into it, anything. So I had no idea what the notes were. So I was just smelling and, and you know, recording of what I'm getting. Then I was watching the video, I realized right here. The box itself tells me what the notes are. <laughs> and uh, so I'm not, I, I look so stupid talking and trying to smell, uh, you know, the ingredients while well, it's here already. So I got to do this again. Wow, well, so I look so silly and, and, and dumb. Here it is. Everyman Jack. Now I have the other two bottles. I'll go ahead and spray it again. It's the first impression. I just sprayed it about 10, 10 minutes ago when I did the first video. The bottle itself looks like this. Uh, they give you a, um, a wooden cap. The bottle, the other one in the series, looks the same. Spirit is perfectly good. Now you're talking about a $20, $21 fragrance. I have the other two, it's called Sandalwood and Cedarwood. So they're missing a summer version. Now the Sandalwood is gonna be for the winter, the Cedarwood for the in-between seasons. Sea salt is perfectly for the warm weather. I had the other two, I really, really enjoy them. Been expecting a summer version, and here it is. Now right away, yeah, I'm getting that, that the sea note with a little bit of a salt, but the salt is not too strong. So in case you're familiar with um, Bulgari Agua, that one is heavy on the salt, while this one is very light. So you could get in the background, but that's not going to be a main player. So you're going to get that marine note. And if you're familiar with the uh, Bulgari Agua Marine, I think this is very similar to that. I would say it's about 60-65%. Okay. Now I was thinking about in my other in my in my collection, if the other fragrance that smell like this, I actually don't. So in that is in itself is a little bit unique. But the scent itself, what I'm picking up is it's not too unique, okay? Everybody will have smelled something similar to this. Okay. But this is one of the better ones though. So what like the notes is saying here, yeah, I guessed it right, I was guessing rosemary, but I cannot guess lemon and a hint of mint. And now that it's telling me, okay, yeah, I could, I could detect that in here. So you're gonna get, yeah, that was a rosemary, the flora in the background, I could smell some sweetness from this. The mintiness, yeah, it's just a bit, I guess that's what the green color re re represents. Just a bit and the lemon, so, okay, yeah, I, I'm getting that. And the combination, I'm getting a bit of green, uh, uh, creaminess, okay, and some bit of greenness, which I'm guessing is from the mint. It's telling me actually. So, <laughs> the second take on the first impression. So I'm kind of repeating myself. So um, the longevity, I think, is going to be about three to four hours, okay. With a blue type of scent, this is a blue scent. Uh, you don't expect it to go all day. So half a day is pretty good. Unlike, you know, Blue de Chanel, which has a woody dry, you know, base uh, that will give it a longer longevity, but this one doesn't have any wood, woodiness. I spray it on for like 10, 15 minutes ago, and right now it's a bit of a dry down. I still don't smell any wood. So it's going to be mainly that marine, sea salty, you know, floral and citrus and with a bit of mint. And that's what I got when I first sprayed it, and it hasn't changed. So this is one of those more linear scents. Like the other two, so I can see what this house is doing. Um, the other two, like I said, sandalwood and cedarwood, it's um, very, very linear. But all three of these are very good quality, you, you, for sure. Okay, I'm saying that because, you know, I smell quite a bit of a cheapies uh, fragrances, like the $20 range. And I'll visit the uh, rack store, like Marshalls or Burlington or TJ Maxx. And they will have a lot of open bottles and I'll spray them. They cost like 10, 15, 20 dollars. And most of them, you can tell they smell very cheap, meaning they're, they're like off. You know, they smell a little bit off, a little bit harsh sometimes, or too, too airy as if there's nothing, you know, no, nothing inside, right? This is very hollow. But this one is, is perfectly good. For this 20, 21 dollars, you know, it's hard to do a cheapy fragrance and make it good, okay? Not only to smell good, but not too generic that people is gonna complain. So it's very well done, it's, it's difficult to do. I mean, I can imagine the company came out with a brief and tell the perfumer, hey, give me something that is very, uh, first of all, it's gonna be inexpensive, inoffensive, 
versatile and um you know good quality okay so they got this and very well done very well done i have three bottles from this series and i'm very very happy with all three all right i when i first had the other two i really enjoyed them for a, a year or two so i was waiting for the next one and before i got it i was expecting the same thing good quality for very inexpensive price there's a fourth one called the crimson rock and i'm ex you know i'm waiting to get that one now this one because it's not too unique okay some people might say it's generic yeah I, I get you you know i hear you but then this is one of the better generic okay um some generic you know i, I have a bunch of generic scents some of them i would say smells okay but some of them smells nice. This is one of, one of those, those nice smelling generic type of scent. I only say it's generic, generic because there's nothing too unique about it. It's not doing anything too different, but they're giving you something that is so easy going and very versatile. So this is gonna be perfect for, for school, for the gym, for the office, for even dress up, okay? For any type of occasion, for hanging out, for meeting friends, for running errands. This is so easy that you could put it in your front door and then just grab and spray as much as you want, all right? A lot of time for the more expensive fragrance, I would do like three or four spray max because I don't want really to waste the juice. For this, I'm willing to go eight to 10 sprays, not only because it's inexpensive, but also it smells very pleasant. And also it's not gonna offend anybody. You're not able to overspray this. There's nothing harsh or inoffensive about or offensive about this it's nothing bad or or you know that's gonna make people hate you for it there's nothing you could just spray 10 20 sprays and it still smells really nice some fragrance you can over spray but this one is perfectly fine so i was thinking if it's going to be masculine or feminine the notes itself it sounds unisex but somehow is there's a masculine uh and a vibe to it so i'm gonna stick with that it's leaning more masculine but hey you know i think ladies could you know could wear this and, and enjoy this as well it's not gonna smell weird or out of place yeah the lemon is coming through now now that you know i it was able to put it i knew there was some citrus but i wasn't sure what it is because i think the combination the lemon and the mint that makes it a little bit difficult to detect exactly what it is and the rosemary which is a very distinct type of, 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 of flower that when you smell it yeah you know it's rosemary so <clears throat> yeah the longevity it hasn't changed since you know 15 20 minutes ago when i first sprayed it and the you know very first time so it's gonna stick stick like this um so it's super versatile the longevity is gonna be about half a day anybody can wear this um and it's money well spent so if you're looking for something that is um you know like all as i mentioned this actually is a no-brainer and I'm, I'm gonna be using this uh during this um warmer weather oh uh, this is suitable for the warmer weather okay the, the same profile the bluish type of scent yeah do you know but sometimes the sea salty notes when it's a little bit too heavy on the salts i find it a little bit hard to wear on the on the uh, hot weather Okay, it just is somehow as if you go to the beach and you swim in the ocean and the, the sea salt stick to your skin, the sun is shining on you, you're warming up, it's a little bit uncomfortable. So too heavy of a sea salt would do that. But this one, the salt is, is very light. So if I would say the marine notes is about 50%, the saltiness is about 10, right? The floral is about 10 and this, the um, citrus is about 10. So I know that doesn't add up to 100, but there's probably some other ingredients in there, okay? So that's what I'm getting. But what I'm trying to say, the sea salt is only about 10% of the, um, the, whole, the, whole, the whole scent. So don't worry about it. It's not gonna like annoy you on the high heat. This will work well on the high heat. I mean, you smell the, the, the your skin will project, will evaporate that, that very uh, pleasant type of smell. So I'm, I'm really enjoying this though. Great pickup. I can't wait to try the other one, Crimson Rock. All right, with that said, if I think of anything, if it changes, as always, after the first impression, I'll probably post a, a follow-up video. But if not, uh, it's a great pickup. I'll give a 8.5 out of 10 for the price range, okay? I, like I said, I picked it up for 20 or 21. I think this will worth well up to 30 is fine. Anything under 30 is perfectly good. All right, with that said, um, thumbs up, subscribe, all these good things, as always. I appreciate you watching. See you next time.